hi guys it's alpha blue here and you're welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to this channel you're welcome guys so guys in this video i'm going to show you a very simple way you can calculate your position size or lot size for trading gold so if you're new to trading gold you must have noticed that um the pip count for gold is quite different from other uh currency pairs it's it's different it's not like every other regular currency pair that you've been trading so I myself, when I was trying to trade gold, I noticed that the, the pip count was different. So I was just very careful so that I don't place a big lot and it blows my account because as you must have already known, gold is actually very volatile. And if you mistakenly place a big lot, your account can get wiped. So I was just trying to find out how I can go about that. I watched a lot of videos online and I was seeing a lot of videos, people saying you should count the pips, multiply by 10, and all of that and i found that very you know annoying and unnecessary i didn't want to be counting the pips all the time and doing some form of calculations or mathematics so i just like kept looking for something else and i found that there's actually a very very easy way you can go about this that you don't have to be calculating pips or anything like that so the simple way you can go about this is to use trading view is to use trading view app right so if you're a trader, of course, you should know TradingView. And if you're not using TradingView, I wonder why. TradingView is a very, very nice platform, a charting platform you can use to look at your chart and all of that. So once you're on TradingView, you don't even need to do any counting of pips or any of that, right? All that you can do is to just use the long or short tool, this particular one right here. Sorry, just give me a minute. Sorry about that. I had to turn off my fan. It was beginning to make a sound I didn't like. So if you're on trading view, just like this, all you need to do is to use the long or short tool, right? This one right here, let's say you want to long. So you're going to place it where you want to long your entry. Then you set your stop loss. Let's assume you want your stop loss to be here. Then your take profit target, right? So with this particular tool right here, you don't even need any counting of pips or anything. You just need to use this. So let's assume I want to target here and then for my stop loss. For my stop loss, I want my stop loss to be here, right? Let's say I want my stop loss to be here. So this is a nice one to five RR. So once you put up this tool, all you need to do now is to look at the pips because once you put up this tool, it's going to show you the pips. Like right now, I know that my stop loss is 2,300 and 63.2 pips that's my stop loss then my take profit is 12000 my my take profit is 12922 pips i hope i'm correct with this yeah i'm correct so this is my stop loss 2363.2 pips so once you put up these two it will show you like you put it or place it where you want your entry to be, place your stops where you want it to be and your targets where you want it to be. It's going to show you the exact pip count. It's going to show you the exact number of pips. So once you get to know that my your stop loss is 2,363 pips, all that you need to do now is to go to a position size calculator. So you can use any position size calculator you know, but the one I usually use that I find to be very, very good is my FX book position size calculator. So you go to, you can search for it on Google, then you will find the link to the site. You click on it, my FX book, or you can just go to myfxbook.com, then you go to calculators. So this is the position size calculator on my FX book. So right now you have currency pair, account currency, account size, risk to reward ratio, stop loss in pips, then the number of lots, right? So, all you need to do is to change this euro USD to gold. So I'm going to choose gold, XAU USD. That's gold. Then the account currency, I'll leave it at USD. Let's say my account size is $1,000, right? Then these weeks, you, you're going to put the percentage weeks. The, the, if you want to risk 1%, 2%, or 3%, you're going to put it here. Or you can swap to money. Me, I prefer to use money. I want to use weeks. I want to risk 
in on that trade i want to place so i'll just put 50 dollars right here if you want to swap with me you can just click on this and you put the maybe you want to raise 0.5 percent or one percent but i prefer to use money so i'll just put 50 dollars here then the stop loss let's go back and check what the stop loss was so the stop loss was 2363 pips i hope you guys can see it. my my vertical crosshair is, is passing through the stop loss if you can see it so 2,363 pieces is the stop loss. So I'll go back and impute um, 2,363 pieces. All right? So this is the stop loss. Then calculate. So this is the, the lot size that I'm supposed to use for my trade. All right? So once you click on calculate, it's going to show you the risk percentage. Okay, I'm risking 5% of my $1,000. And then units, then the sizing. This is what you want to know. This is the most important thing right here, the sizing. So the lot size is 0 0.02, right? So I now know the lot I'm going to use for my trade. 0 0.02 is the lot size. So you can now go back to your MT4 or MT5 and then place your trade with 0 0.02 lot. And you're sure that even if it goes against you and you hit stop loss, you're going to lose just $25. So this is how I go about calculating lot size for good. I don't do any calculation, multiply by 10, blah, blah. Now nah, it's very pretty much straightforward. All you need to do is to use uh, the position size, the position size calculator. But first of all, you need to use TradingView app for you to get the number of pips. So with TradingView, you don't need to do any calculation. You don't need to count and multiply by 10 because once you put up the long or short tool, it brings out it, it shows you the exact number of pips that your stop loss is. So you just take this number and go to your, my FX book and then you place your, you calculate it there and then you get your, your lot size to use. So let me reduce this. Let's assume that we're having a stop loss of, let's say 948 pips, just like this. So let's say my stop loss is 948 pips, right? Now there are 48 pips stop loss. So let's go back to my FX book. So you can go back. Then I still want to risk $50. My account size is still 1,000. So let me change it. This number of stop loss pip count, 948, right? So now there are 48 calculates. So you see the, the lot size has changed to 0 0.05. So if my my stop loss is now around 48 pips. The lot size I'm going to use is 0 0.05. So you can now be sure that once you use 0 0.05 lots, even if it hits your stop loss, you're just going to lose exactly $50. So guys, this is like the very easy way for you to calculate your lot size or position size when trading gold with the trading view app, the long or short tool, and then my FX book position size calculator. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope you found this thing helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. You can also check the description of this video. You'll find the link to my Telegram. If you want to join my Telegram community, you also find the links to my recommended brokers where you can trade good. I recommend XNES. XNES is my number one broker. Then you can also use HotForex to trade good. They have very, 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 very good spreads or, or tight spreads. And then you can also trade uh, with Deriv if you want to trade currencies or especially indices, Deriv indices like Puma Crash and all of those other kind of stuff. So guys, cheers. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.